We've got this, right? Watch this! Predictable outcome.
attention. Thanks, Valentine. How's this? You can do this. I'm over here.
rest I'm coming is in your you. hands. Yeah. On your feet! Thank Appreciate you, Miss Guardian. This might hurt. What's the plan? Predictable outcome. To arms! Watch this! You 
All right. Yes. Thanks. Yes. Activating arm lens. Uh, what? Let me at him. Watch this! Yeah. On your feet! Thanks! Got you! Sword! What? Boom! Take this! Watch this! Brown! On your feet! Thanks! Watch this! There! Ah. You alright? Thank you, Guardian! Thanks! Take this! Rune! Got you! It's over! I never had any doubt. Very informative! We've got this, right? <laughs> I'm over here.
appreciate that. Watch this! Takes care of that. The sky's the limit for me and these arms. Let's get this over with. <laughs> I'm over here.
Shadows! The area ahead looks promising. I must be getting nervous because I'm hearing voices in my head. Whatever we're doing, we better do it fast. Agreed. But first...
Are these the villagers? Yes, Your Grace. <sighs> the Guardians have been hindering our progress through the Norsefarian Barrows, but finding that place was a windfall. A rune lens placed in a village in order to hide and protect it. <laughs> Simply fascinating. Milu, no! What are you gonna do to us? And what have you done with my mother and father? Well, well. Aren't you a brave lad? Rune lenses are fickle and unreliable, and reserve their blessings for only a chosen few. Some of whom, like yourself, are imbued with their power from birth. I think you can agree that's not very fair. What's your point? If all humanity is to take advantage of the Rune Lens's gifts, the nature of such gifts must first be elucidated. History demands we walk down this path, the righteous path. Do you not agree? Still don't get what this has to do with us. See you that? It is a primal lens. The wellspring from which rune lenses derive their power. If we unravel its secrets, we can launch humanity into a bold new future. But I'm going to need your help for that young man. You will help me, won't you? Help? Is that what my parents are doing? And the other villages you stole? The Primal Lens does not give its secrets easily. It requires sacrifice. Sacrifice? Wait, you killed them? You killed them? at a blood price. And humanity must attain its destiny! Where are we? What's going... There! Over there! Milo! No! Uh-huh. What did you do? <laughs> if it isn't the Kessling whelp. Mule all you want, boy. But I've no regret for my actions. Don't you dare gloat! How could you harm those innocent people? A necessary sacrifice. That much should be clear. Shut up! Kessling my favor, and you repay me with this folly. <laughs> what 
you are doing is wrong! What I do is for the greater good. Something your small mind could never comprehend. Greater good! Don't be so full of yourself! Says the boy with no vision whatsoever. It is time you learned your place. Greater good! Don't be so full of yourself! Says the boy with no vision whatsoever. A shame. The world could have used your talent. But... You will see before you die. What are you doing? of the Primal Lens's power. Sane! Milu! Milu! Yelu, is that you? Help me understand something, little Kessling. How does one born into nobility and gifted with such incredible talent sink to treachery against his motherland? It's not... It's not treachery to do the right thing. Oh, this should be good. Do tell. If the cause were just, I would gladly lay down my life for Galdia. But this war was predicated on a lie. You wove fictions about other nations in order to declare a meaningless war. You killed His Excellency the Emperor so he couldn't stop you. And now you're murdering innocent people to draw out the lens's power. There is no justification for your actions. None! <laughs> Pathetic! Is that flaccid reasoning really the best you can muster? In the grand flow of history, no one will remember or care that you had scruples. It is insignificant! That's how small men think. Small men with no vision for their country. All the same, I will do what is right. You will not shame or scare me away from it. Then... It is time you vanished from the pages of history, as all small-minded men must. Master Sane! Lieutenant!
Lieutenant! They escaped! Shall I pursue them? Yes. Take the prototypes. Let the boy taste the fruit of his contributions. As you command. I've stopped the bleeding and dressed the wound as best I can. He'll live. It'll be all right, sis. Oh, Milu. It's okay. I'll find a way to help the kid. What do we do now, Lieutenant? The Dukes will doubtless send pursuers after us. All villagers, listen to me. I will assign soldiers to protect you, follow their lead, and escape into the forest. Then remain hidden. But what if we can't get away? You will. Because we're going to draw the pursuer's attention. How? With silver... Uh, I mean, with a silver blaze of glory from my very inanimate ring tank. Exactly. And while we're making a fuss, you run in the other direction as fast as your legs can carry you. All right, we'll try. We're moving out shortly. Be ready. Yes, sir. I managed to hide... I have some small ability with healing. Let me help you. I have some small ability. This is one insane plan, and I am here for it. It's only a matter of time before the Dukes' men catch up with us, sir. We can leave as soon as you give the word. Thanks for helping my sister. I'll be okay. Oh, Milu. Ready when you are, Sane. Begin the operation. Yes, sir. She'll be at peak pressure momentarily. We've decided we're gonna help. I want a chance to stick it to that bloated gas bag. Yes, please take us with you. It's going to be dangerous. I don't care. The Dukes has to pay. Technology is supposed to bring people happiness. What he's doing is, it's just wrong. I was too late to help my mother and father and so many others. But I can still protect Milu and the villagers that are left. Please! <sighs> All right, hop aboard. Thank you. You won't regret this.
We're leaving. See that the villagers get to safety. Yes, ma'am. This way, everyone. Hurry! Be careful, Yelu. I will. And I know that I let you down sometimes. But I promise, I'll never let anyone hurt you again. Come on, Milu! We have to go! Take care of him, alright? The tank is leaving! Move, move, move! Commence Operation Let's Bust Out of Here. Followed by Operation Crazy Havoc. Any sign of them? Not yet, sir. I don't like this. It's too damn easy. Maybe we need to make a bigger scene. I think fire another round toward the castle. We could try. Um, I think something's coming. Where? Activating arm lens! Rune lens 
activated. or something. Don't be a ninny. Still, that thing was trying to block our escape. Yes. And stranger, I could sense runic power coming from it. The same power as in the lenses. We've seen monsters with raw crystallized lens material in their bodies before. I'm talking about something more focused and pure. Chatter for when it matters. We got company. Race for battle, everyone. Let's get this over with. Here 
Okay, what's going on? 
This one and the last were both fitted with room lenses. And regules, too. A monster with a fully kitted lens. I really hope the Jukes isn't making those things in his facility. Over there! Well, I suppose that's what you get with prototypes. You! Those monsters were prototypes. Explain yourself! <laughs> oh, what am I to do with you? Oh no, not again! I'm counting on you. Watch this! There! Ha! Sword! Item time! You are activated! Thanks.
Watch this! Got you! Ah! Sword! And that was one of the more complete specimens, too. Complete? How? Are you controlling those monsters through the lenses? Why would you do such a thing? Because they have utility as weapons. No way. And this is the Duke's so-called progress. Monster or not, they're living things, and it's wrong to experiment on them. That's not technology! No way! I refuse to call it that! Call it what you will, it matters not. This next specimen was completed after we increased the Primal Lens's level of awakening. And it will finish you. Oh, and we have your reclusive people to thank for that, girl. <laughs> My parents... No... If it helps, theirs was a noble sacrifice for the betterment of humankind. I've heard enough. How you could call any part of this noble. How you could think you're bettering anything. There's not a shred of justice in you people. I agree. They're enemies of the world who must be stopped. For the sake of the Empire. This might require my full attention.
time. I'm over here. Defense! You won't hit me. Stand fast! I'm ready. Watch this!
here. Are you How's right? this? You can do this. Let's try this. You are you do? Thank you, you can... Thanks. the limit for me in these arms. Try another. Nope! No more monsters! Hold on, everybody. I've got one more trick up my sleeve, and it's a doozy! What are you? Compression combustor! Fire! What's Master Sane doing? What is necessary? And that's everything we saw and heard at Guardhaven Castle. 
And what would you have me do with this? I trust you to decide, Father. There's no evidence. Even if I did get this to General Goldwyn, nothing would come of it. Save the Duke's wrath. I know. As the head of House Kessling, I must put the protection of our family first. Your actions amount to treason against the Empire, and I cannot condone them. Now leave, before your mother notices your home. I understand. Once I go, I promise to never return. Thank you for all the sacrifices you made for me, Father. Why, Sane? Uh, my brother told me time and again. Arthur? Yes. He always said, the greatest glory comes from doing right. I see. Goodbye, Father. I told you I could not condone your actions as the head of House Kessling. But as a father, I could not be prouder of both of my boys. Stand by your principles, my son. Yes, sir! <laughs>